guide kan laga mo. <laughs> so my name is Saida and I'll be your guide for the next hour. The beautiful lady you just heard here is Celia. She's new and she will uh, follow me in the next hour. is mostly used by the regiment for administration, ceremonies, protocol, uh, history. It's not a place for training because we are in the middle of Ongfek, so that's why. Um, behind me you have two flags. So the blue one with the yellow and red lines is the flag of the Van Dues. and the white one, uh, that you cannot see it, is the flag of the Canadian Army Forces. Normally, we also have the flags of the 10 provinces and three territories of Canada. But originally, the citadel was uh, constructed by the British, and that's because they were afraid of invasion. They started the construction around um, 1820. But do you have an idea who was the enemy back in time? The US. Mm -hmm. Hi Americans, welcome back. <laughs> so that's why. Um, because the Americans uh, tried, tried twice to take Quebec. The first time in 1775 and the second time in 18, uh, during the War of 1812. And the British, they were really afraid of a third invasion. So that's why they decided to construct the fortress. It took 30 years, so between 1820 and 1850. And it was finally never attacked. So it's good for us because it's still in good condition, but it's bad for them because it costs a lot. To give you an idea, they, um, they thought that the Citadel, uh, they had a budget for um, 20,000 pounds, finally it cost 200,000 pounds for the Citadel. So 200,000 pounds is approximately today 8, 9 million US, which is 10, 11 Canadian million Canadian dollars. I mean, it was really expensive. And during the tour, uh, we'll talk uh, how it was used by the British and how it is used by the regiment today. So, do you have any questions for right now? So just mention uh, the museum is inside the wall. We started the tour here and now we're here. So when you take a look at the photo, what can you see special about the citadel? Except the big yellow lines, of course. It's a Canadian flag. Sorry, what? Star -sh looks like a Canadian flag. Yeah, uh, it, yes, Upside it's down. the star <laughs> shape. Uh, some people answer a maple leaf, a turtle, a sun. Kind of right for the turtle with the head right there. Anyway. So yes, it has a star shape. Why? It's because with a star shape, you have no blind spot. And each point that we call a bastion can protect the other and cover the blind spot of the other one. Because for example, if the citadel had the shape of a square, so let's take the parade square, which is right here, and the enemy attack the first wall, the three others cannot help. So with the star shape, if the enemy attack the first wall, as you can see, the bastion can protect the zone. Uh, so that's why. Um, in Canada, we have two citadel with a star shape, with the one in Quebec City and the, un, uh, the other one in Halifax. Um, but origin, so yes, the citadel was constructed by the British, but the idea of a star shape, they take it from one of the most popular French military engineer during the 17th century, Sébastien Le Preste, le Marquis de Vauban. Do you want to try to repeat the name? <laughs> no. <laughs> So Vauban is actually the one who invited the idea of a citadel with a star shape. In his career, uh, he designed hundreds of fortress, fort, and village like that in France. And if when you go in France, I think they still have like holy fortress from Vauban. And it shows how um, it was really revolutionary for the time. So that's why the British, but also the, the Spanish and the Japanese decided to take this idea and also construct fortress with a star shape. Um, so yeah, do you have any questions? No? Originally, the purpose of the citadel was to be independent. 
had a garrison of 800 soldiers living here, and some of them came with their families. So in total, it was 1,000 living inside the citadel. So of course, like I said, it was a small city inside a bigger one, and they had everything to survive inside the fortress. They had um, uh, castmates, um, armory, a uh, well for the water, a prison, an hospital, and the hospital was the building behind me. So this was the hospital. They had their own doctors and nurses. And uh, <coughs> it's, it was also a complete hospital. They had a capacity for 75 um, patients. They had, they had operating theater, ophthalmology room, etc. But today it's not an hospital anymore. This is the headquarters of the Vendus. So this is where they take decisions about the, um, the regiment and the citadel. But to be honest with you, it's more paper decision because again, everything about trainings, deployment, they will, uh, it will happen on the other military base that we have in Quebec City that we call Valcartier. And can you see the gold beaver on the top of the door? Yes. So this is a badge of the regiment. That's what the soldiers have on their cap. So just to explain it, the beaver, it's a cute animal, of course, and it uh, represents the Canadians. Uh, and also it's, it's an animal that is really a, a hard worker and etc. And also why a beaver is because we have to know that originally the colony was, it was a French colony. And the reason why the French decided to have a colony here, it was for the beaver fur trade. So originally it was really for economic reasons. Uh, so that's why. The crown on the beaver is because uh, we are a constitutional monarchy in Canada. So we actually have a king, which is Charles uh, III, the son of the uh, Queen Elizabeth II. So that's why regiments in Canada have a crown. Um, in the circle, we, maybe you cannot really see it from here, but it's written Régiment Canadien Français, so French Canadian Regiment. And that's because um, originally it was, and it's still, um, a regiment it was created for the French Canadians. This regiment was created for the French Canadians during the First World War because they realized that the Francophone they were not really interested to participate in the Great War. It was for many reasons, but the main one was the language because in the army they were uh, speaking English and the Francophone they were afraid to not understand the orders on the battlefield except go run and shoot, which is the basics. So they created a French Canadian unit and they called it the 22nd Battalion. And at the end of the First World War, 22nd Battalion came back with 18 battles honored, which is quite a lot. So it became a regiment and then it became a royal regiment. Uh, right now, the Vendus, they have uh, 44 battle honors. So 18 for the First World War, 24 for the Second World War, one for the Korean War and the most recent Afghanistan. The battle honors and it's the name are the name and the dates you can see on the building. So we have Casa Berardi 1943. We have Korea for the Korean War, 1951-53. Uh, After that, in the circle, we have the old coat of arms of the province of Quebec that summarized the Canadian history with uh, the two fleur de lis for the French era, the gold lion for the British era, and the three maple leaf for the Canadian era. The number of Vendor 22. And finally, something uh, something that you can see everywhere in the city, the motto, Je me souviens. Do you have an idea what means Je me souviens in English? I remember. I remember, yes. Yeah. So it's the same motto for the province of Quebec, so that's why you can see it on the license plate. So yes, the regiment and the province have the same motto, but the symbolic is not the same at all. For the province, it's more, I remember uh, my origins, culture, tradition, history, etc. And for the Vendus, it's more I remember veterans, battle honor, war. was 
closer, and each of them had their own fire. So if you took, uh, look at the roof, you have more than 60 chimneys on the roof. So they were quite comfortable. Compared at the same time, the soldiers, they were living in Kazmik. Like the actual museum is a Kazmik. So the Kazmik is like, It's like the highest point. Well, yeah. Canada, we have in the Citadel, it's an Armstrong gun, and it was bring here by the British. Um, it's really a, a heavy cannon. It's only the cannon, so only the tube is five tons. So it's one African elephant, to give you an idea. And the rest of the structure is approximately uh, 10 tons. Uh, as you can see, the cannon, they were able to move it, but not at 360. Because Why? Because it was the most precise. And of course, they were afraid that in case of an invasion, the enemy take the cannon and turn it against the inside. So that's why the track are blocked. Also, um, the cannon had a fire range of 3 kilometers. So really easy to cross the St. Laurent River. Because just so you know, uh, this is here in Quebec City that the St. Laurent River is the narrow, uh, depending depending where you are, is between 800 meters to one kilometer maximum. So with a cannon of a fire range of three kilometers, really easy to cross the river. it was for the Canadian soldiers well also for minor crimes um, also what is it what is really interesting about the prison and I will try to be clear but 
The fact that the British decided to construct a prison actually show a changing of mentality. What I mean by that is because um, before they were using, and it's not only in Great Britain, but in all around Europe, corporal punishment, like whiplashes and etc. Because uh, originally they, had, uh, they were using corporal punishment uh, for two objects. Scare will be able to go. So it's 11.59, so uh, if you could put your hand on your ears and you wait a minute. Uh, if you're, you're filming? filming at the same time, the idea is you have your phone and you just turn your head and you put your hand on the other ear. There, my elbow. <laughs> you gotta be this side. Okay, do I, do I don't want to block someone. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, come here. Oh, and you keep your mouth open. Oh, no. 
<laughs> I think the car didn't like that. <laughs>